everybody and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to say thank you for all of those that have taken your time to watch my videos, especially my tier, my three tiered tray. God, that's a tongue tire. My three tiered tray. That one is literally has had so many views. I am beyond thankful and grateful to all of you guys. And for all of you new subscribers, thank you so much for the love and the support. And today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how I did three um, farmhouse style DIYs that I did purchasing only Dollar Tree stuff and Goodwill items. Let's back it on up. I totally forgot that I finally have my winner for my custom made shoes. And the winner for today is... Laura G, you are the winner to my custom made, well, custom hand painted shoes. And now if you can somehow leave me a message so we can somehow get a hold of each other so I can ship those right to you. I hope you enjoy them and thank you, thank you so much for your wonderful comments and for everybody else's comments that you left. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how I did these three projects. I highly suggest for you guys to go to your Goodwills. Um, it saves you money. Um, yeah, you do put a little bit of time into making these crafts, but I feel like it's got a little bit more of a value towards it. Instead of you purchasing it, you look at something, you go to Hobby Lobby or you go to Home Goods and you find this wonderful piece that you feel like you can't live without. And you end up spending a good amount of money and you put it up and you absolutely love it. That's great. Um, I just kind of feel like I like to make things and, you know, put things together. And then once I put it up, some of them I'm absolutely in love with. I get tons of compliments with. There's others that kind of, yeah, you can kind of tell that it was made. But it has a sentimental value to it, which I love. I love stuff. I love white. So I decided to do this farmhouse style for you guys. So with any further ado, let's go ahead and get into these wonderful three farmhouse style projects. So this frame here, I actually got at the Goodwill and the same for these mason jars. The twine I purchased at the dollar store. The same with these two florals. And I've been hearing everybody rave about the Waverly um, acrylic paint that's chalk paint. And so I decided to purchase it. And oh my god, total game changer. I don't think I will ever use another paint ever again. It's amazing. You can purchase them at Walmart. Um, I believe you can order them online too, but of course, Walmart. It's so much more convenient because you could just go and purchase it and it was under six dollars each paint in which I would say it's a really good price so what I did is I unscrewed everything that was on here and this twine I decided that I'm just going to reuse it to put it on the other side and then I had this wire um, when I had made jewelry before so I decided to use that to hold up my mason jars and once I was done painting my mason jars I just went over with the gray and I believe this color is called elephant and the white um, chalk paint is just white and they also have it in ivory but I love the white and then I just used this twine and wrapped it around. And you know, I had purchased my twine at Walmart for I believe $3. And I ended up finding this twine at the Dollar Tree and it was a pack of three for a dollar. So I just took it even though I didn't need it just to show you guys that you know, you can purchase these items at the dollar stores. And of course it never hurts to have extra. So what I did is since this frame that I had purchased had the wood like cracks in between I decided that I would just stick the wire in there and then just bend it
and I tried doing it as tight as I could. I just went ahead and hot glue gun to the back of it. And then I got two nails and I screwed them at the back. And then I put the twine that was already part of this frame. I decided to just reuse it. It was a bit thicker, so I thought it looked nicer. And while I was at Hobby Lobby a couple days ago, I noticed that they had these and I ended up not purchasing them and I'm glad I didn't because I got them from the dollar store. And now this beauty right here with these little teddy bears. Um, I decided this is what I was going to use for my sign, my eat sign, to go right above my dining table. And then I just purchased this roller at the dollar store and I used my um, Waverly chalk paint. And then I used the elephant chalk paint and I just did like a dry brushing on top of it to kind of give it that distressed look. And then of course I decided to measure it so that I can at least try to have these centered as much as possible, which was pretty tricky. And I love using my stencils, I love them. I'm hoping that my husband buys me a Cricut one day, possibly for my birthday that's coming up. But for now, I'm satisfied with my stencils. And then I just used black, plain black acrylic paint, flat acrylic paint, because I really don't like the shiny black. So I went with the matte. And I decided to tape each one of them off. That way they would be centered. My goodness, my cats are driving me crazy right now. <laughs> so I had this um, hook from an old frame Usually whenever I do a project and I'm dismantling frames and stuff, I like to save the hooks because you never know when you might need them. And here's that lovely twine that I bought from the dollar store. And then all I did was just glue it in the back and start wrapping it around. And now for this next project, I bought these frames, the succulents, of course the twine, at the Dollar Tree. And the burlap is something I already had from Thanksgiving, it was a runner. And I didn't want to waste it and I know I probably wouldn't have used it, so I figured I'd use it for this project. So what I did is I popped off the backing of this and I did not take off the hooks on there because it just, I'm, you'll be needing them for after when you put your burlap so what I did is I just traced the triangles I left a little bit on the on the edge because I was gonna hot glue gun it around um, I didn't want to do a mistake with the burlap showing so I'd rather it just be wrapped around and since it had a design on it. I just decided to use my Waverly chalk paint and I did two coats of it because you can still see the words that were on there. And then after it dried, I just went ahead and started hot glue gunning the burlap onto the triangles. And during this time, the frames, I had already previously spray painted them with my Rust-Oleum um, plastic spray paint. So while I, was, while I was letting those dry, I just went ahead and started doing this. So as you can see here, they're completely dried off. And I used the Ultra Matte in which I love.
Just did a little bit of hot glue gun to make sure that they stay in place. And then I measured how much twine I wanted for my triangles to hang. And then all I did was hot glue gun them in the back. And what I did next is I bought these at the Dollar Tree and I just popped them off the little stick that was on there. And I just hot glue gunned them onto the burlap. And some of the pieces kept sticking up, so what I did is I just hot glue gunned them down so that it would be a little bit more spread open. And then I used my elephant chalk paint to give it that distressed look. If you like the way it looks with the white, then you can leave it like that. I just wanted to make it look distressed. And here's what everything looks like. I did touch up the letters on my eat sign because they were some of the areas were a little bit messed up. But everything looks amazing, especially this piece I was obsessed with. Obsessed. It's a little modern, a more like farmhouse modern for the triangles, but they are gorgeous. Ah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, you guys, for watching my video on these farmhouse style tutorials. And like I said, please make sure you check out your Goodwill. You just never know what you can find there. I mean, I think I spend more time there than I do anywhere else, which is kind of bad. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, you guys, for watching my videos, and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then please make sure that you leave me a comment down below letting me know if you love these. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make these really awesome farmhouse style projects. And now, like I said, do not be afraid to check out your local Goodwills, your Dollar Trees. They are a gold mine, like... I can't even stress this enough how much of a gold mine they are for me. Even if they're not all that great by where you're at, um, if you're ever on a different side of town, go check out your local Goodwills. Go check out your different dollar stores that could be around there. You just never know what you can find. And now if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, then please make sure that you subscribe right now and show me your love on how much you love these videos. Or if you like my videos, then please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And then until next time, you guys, I will see you on my next DIY.